Christ, it took that old fuck a long time to croak. That it did, Gov. You've done well with that solicitor. Left to pay him much. Ah! Ah! No, they weren't too expensive. Go or guess me. Why would Jimmy Silver want to leave his old pot to that little whippy over there? What? What is it? Fucking poxy key. Oi! Hold on to it! Not coming handy. Hold a London nosy OG for that Black Monday scare. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, from now on, the old London's gonna know that I am a Jimmy Silver coffer from beyond the grave. Let's do the old game. Toothless should be on his way out by now. With Jimmy Silver's piggy bank tucked underneath his arm. I think he'd be all right. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't get greedy. What, right, let's go, let's go. No, not yet. Open that! Ah! Oi! Wake up! Toothless, forget it! Say, forget what did you say? It. That's Vegas. It's got everything. We can't afford those hotels. We can go to a motel, like in the films. Nah. Someone always dies in them kind of films. Here. They're selling the wardrobe. 25 quid, all new. For your jackets, Jamie. Have a look at that. See? Easy. Now that's where we want to be going. Yeah. Mm. Where is it? Thailand. I don't trust myself in Thailand. We should just go to Ibiza. <sighs> Again? Well, we got to go somewhere cheap, because I ain't sharing a room with any of you animals. Not after last time. We should stick to Spain. I mean, we know the money. I speak a little Spanish. We know what to expect. Hey, the saint's gone down. He's got five years. What, St. Mickey O'Farrell? What'd he do? Aggravated burglary. He says here, he broke into St Paul's Cathedral and attacked the vicar with a crucifix. Half of what the key's worth, and you can walk away with it. That key is mine. Jimmy Silver was a wealthy man. Anything else you're thinking of selling me? Me house, car. Want me to make you an offer on my shoes? I want what I'm owed. Oh, you'll get that, my son. Toothless! 
We've done a deal. I ain't had nothing out of that job. Because you fucked it up. Seems like he was one step ahead of you, Miami. Just like he always was. And I'm gonna keep good hold of this key till I find out exactly what it's worth. You can use that key right now to buy back the rest of your natural life. Or I'll have you torn apart before the end of the week. You ain't got no weight in here. Parker's right. All our boys are in Parkhurst and Long Lawton. Better get somebody in here then, haven't we? I've already booked you an holiday. Sweet. Anyone nice? Package. Her Majesty's prison service. Not so sweet. You heard a toothless? Yeah. Top blag merchant. Blag merchant? Don't know if I'll go so far as to say top. Toothless has a key about his person, which is very, very important. To me. Trouble is, he's looking at a ten year stretch. And I'm not known for me patience. We organise the fit up. You get nabbed as soon as you're on the inn. We feed you all the orders. You get the key, we drop all the charges, and you walk with 50 grand. I don't know if I think I'm this is not really what. Asking you to think about it, am I? You're the only uh, Muppets I know who don't have any record. Uh, Miami. I'm on probation. I've got six months left. I can't get sent down again. Well, we'll have to uh, leave you out of the arrangement then. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> they just, like, leapt on me. Like animals. They was pulling me here. And they grabbed me handbag with everything in it. One of them grabbed my ass. I'll have mental scars right up to me pension. I'm going now. Nick is us. Right. You spat in the face of the Lord's glad tidings. And the Lord speak clear to me on these matters. The Lord said, Mickey fucking God! That nut has been certified. What's he doing in here? Certified? He's got more than certificates. He must have medals for being nuts. Anyone clocked tootless yet? Up there on the twos. Well, let's do it then. Let's get that fucking key and get the fuck out of here. Will you wait a minute. Come on, do it in front of everyone. We just got here. I don't want to be here another day, mate. I've had enough. Come on, move. I mean, it's one of them. I've seen him murder my enemies. Who is standing then? Hit me work alone. Right, special brew. Your new soulmate. <laughs> You're in here. In. Right. 
you fucking English. Home sweet home. Oh, I wonder who we got in here with us. Yeah, right. Fuck's sake, bacon, it could be anyone. Did you pluck anything up? No. Did you? I thought about it, couldn't quite bring myself, you know what I mean? Shit. I hate small spaces. Okay. Hey, hey, just chill out a bit, right? You've only been here half an hour. For Christ's sake, Bacon, I'm bored already. We're supposed to be in ten of fucking reef. Let's get that key now. Now. Hey, hey. I'm Jamie. It's all right. I'm actually a little bit Scottish. Ah, oh, yeah, fuck. Give me mama. Her name was Campbell. Campbell? You'd be better to be an Englishman than one of the fucking scum got into bed with our redcoats. What are you doing in our cell? No, I'm bored. These are our new cellmates. All right, lads? Yeah, all right. Sitting in here. Yeah. Can't be easy being the new fish in the tank. Still, as long as you learn the rules. Yeah. What's these rules in? First off, if you want to dump in the middle of the night, you have to do a flying pasty. Flying what? Flying pasty. Take a shit in a piece of paper, wrap it up, chuck it out the window. You stink the old drum out, else. If you're into smack, don't cook up and leave your shit lying about for us, because me and him aren't going down the block for nobody, not even you, all right? Yeah, right. Whoa. If you want to toss off, you do it during association. We take it in turns, the rest of us go out. I do not want to hear you bumping the blanket in the middle of the night, all right? Fair enough. Yeah. Right, uh, can we get you boys anything? Bit of ash, maybe? Uh, no, we're, we're a bit short of cash. Well, I'm asking you to pay right now, am I? Here you go. Listen, I know what it's like first time inside. It's a bit of an head fuck, isn't it? Not sure. Yeah, of... go on. And you got the cash. No worries, eh? What's the damage? 30 quid. 30 quid? Shh! Bollocks to that. That's tourist prices. You ain't a fucking Avon lady. You got it, you keep it, and you pay us. Yeah. But when you got the cash. All right? Well, we could have handled that better. Yeah. Hey. What's that? Two fucking basic rules for you, pal. Keep your nose out and shut your mouth. Piece of cotton is shit. What's your problem? You ain't never laid eyes on me before. Does the word Glen Coe no mean anything to you? Did I sell you some dodgy scotch? You English make me sick. You shite over all the other countries, your whole fucking history, and you don't even fucking remember! Oh, I weren't there, mate! Let me tell you something. You bastards can take our land, you can take our oil, you can beat us at the football once every ten years, but you'll never take our pride! I don't want your fucking pride, you fucking nutcase! I couldn't get out. Fuck 
fucking Celtic fan wanted to talk to me. Yeah, well, our cell mate's a bit fucking keen as well. Yeah, we were trying to get the totus his cell and these two big geezers. Hey, hey. Toothless is on his way down. What about Mick? Mate, I wish you wouldn't stare at me like that. Yeah, well, we've got two minutes to get that key out of Toothless cell, right? Right, yeah. Forget this shite. Why, right, Jane? Crawley, what are you doing in <laughs> Now that's for poking my bird, you cunt. You prick! That was fucking eight years ago! And she'd already left ya! Fuck off. Wait, come on. Take time for that. Maybe it's him. He looks like do someone for a few quid. Nah, it's always the quiet ones, mate. The ones you don't expect. Oh, maybe it's all of them. Maybe. They do get younger every day. Most of them don't do the job proper. Just carve you up a bit or shoot you in the gut. Might be hours before you cop it. Yeah, all right, Frankie. Ooh. I don't know what his problem is. Hey, Crawley. Wait, come and give us a hand, will ya? No! People look out for toothless. Hey, Mickey. I'm going to clump him. Jamie, shut it. Do you remember her? She had a body like a bag of soup. Made a noise like Donald Duck when you shagged her. Did she? Oh, toothless. On his way down. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Come on. Come on! Alright, get a flag! Quick! Come on! Fuck, fuck! Quick, come on, mate, he's gonna. Quick, quick! We're never gonna get out of here, mate. Hey, Tanya, the uh, the honey's in the cupboard behind the wheat bix Actually, bring that too. Oh, yeah. That's it, baby. Come to Mooney. Oof. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> Do me. <laughs> Fucking shit! God, I thought you was Tanya. What the fuck is going on? Well, uh, me and Tanya, we He's was just talking uh... about the key. Oh right. Well, uh, yeah. Well, I'm still waiting to hear. Actually, uh. My mind is on that key at all times. Yeah, yeah, well... Maybe your friends need some help. Maybe you should be on the inside with them. Yeah, well, I I'd love to be in there with them, but... Um... We've heard your story, sir. <sighs> Toothless ain't such a bad geezer when you get to know him. And that's exactly what I need you to do. Apparently, he's just joined the food preparation course. And I found out something very interesting about you. You're a qualified chef. Mrs. Evans, can we have a word? So it's best to forget all about boiled sprouts and suet pudding. You phone in sick with something nasty and don't ever go back, all right? Otherwise, instead of weekend trips to South End, you'll be doing weekend trips to Epping Forest to visit your old Bert's unmarked grave. Nights in white satin. Never reaching 
bien Letters I've written Never meaning to send Beauty I'd always miss With these eyes before Just what the truth is I can't say anymore Right, gentlemen. This is your new chef while Mrs. Evans is convalescing. His name is Moon. What? Is that right, Sam? Moon? Yeah. Right. Well, I'll leave you to it. All right, lads. Mrs. Evans lets us do what we want, pal. Right. I'm making a bovril sandwich. Wait a minute. Well, uh, that's great. But I thought we could, uh, you know, make something together. Steak and chips? Huh? I'm making an omelette. Well, I've got a great recipe for a Spanish one. Fuck off. You're right. What the fuck are you doing here? Well, he got us a job, didn't he? You what? Part of his plan. Well, what's the rest of his plan? You ain't gonna like it. it can't get any worse, can it? Well, Amy says the plan is you kill Toothless and you give me the key to smuggle out. What? Is that it? That, that ain't really much of a, a plan, though. And if you don't do it, Barbie don't drop them charges. We do two for this, and we'll be in here a long time. And if we don't, we're dead when we get out. What happened? We've got to get out. I owe Brummy a lot of dope money. This is fucked. Really fucked. Lee? Hey, put the thing away. This place is doing my editing. Oh, here we go. And Jesus chose you a giant other flock. I'm going to baptise you in the showers with as many ways as that a hole. Yes, oh, oh, the Lord is punishing me. Bollocks. <laughs> These lads is working for me now. Isn't that right, Lee? Uh, yeah. I'll have your money for you by the end of next week. Ah, uh, fuck the money. You can get us gear instead. Get your birds to bring it in for us. Don't look so unhappy. You'll be well looked after. We don't need looking after. Mickey ain't no bullshitter. We'll handle him for you. Yeah. Just so long as you pay your debts. You ain't gonna have protection forever, Twinkle. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie! Lee. This is really getting to you, isn't it? I feel better now. You saw Brummy in the yard. He's protecting them for some reason. Well, what are we gonna do then? Go on the numbers? No. I think that puts him with the nonces. Not since we clattered that tube groper. Just stand and back the poxy key then. No. What we got a bargain with? What we've got to do is... Sills! Go. What? I want to put in for a transfer. Yeah, me too, Gov. Any particular reason I should take into account? Well, someone's got the finger on us, isn't it? I mean, either we kill or we die. Yeah, yeah. Better be convinced it's a pressing case. Hundred quid. That's all I got. Bollocks. You robbed a bank. We got caught. I'll dig out the forms.
Oh, that's disgusting. You're making a meal out of this, lads. It's a very simple job. Look, we'll be honest with you, Mr. Vice. We really don't want to kill him. We'll get the key then. We searched his cell. What for? You ain't gonna leave it there. It's not a fucking treasure hunt. Do you reckon he keeps it on him all the time? You what? You taking a piss? Of course he keeps it on him. It's up his ass, you fucking half wit. Where else is he gonna leave it? You're out there. Oh, come on! Just an hand shot. You can't do me for that, you bastards. There's no harm in an hand shot. Stop it, stop it. I'm going on hunger strike over this, you know. It's not you, man. You are sad. Let me fight. Let me fight. You are sad. You are sad. I went to a lot of time and effort getting you banged up. And I expect results. What's all this crap I hear about you being on hunger strike? I'm tucking my case to Amnesty International. It's an abuse of my human rights. Rami, stop fucking about. Just get it down here. Nah. I'm not eating nothing till I get me conjugals. You ain't married. Oh, I see, that's a crime now, is it? Don't be silly. Silly, eh? You'll die if you don't eat. I'll die if I don't shag! What are you doing in here? The problem is getting a little bit... Short tempered. He's hungry. You haven't paid him for his gear. You're gonna have to have a shower sooner or later. Mickey Farrell said I'd die in the shower. Oh, that stuff's making you paranoid. Paranoid? Yeah. Mickey Farrell actually thinks God told him to drown me in the shower. I'm sharing a cell with two armed men who are gonna do me for debts that I can't pay. And I'm going to be stuck in this dungeon until we do over some geezer and get a key out of his arse. We'll think of something. I won't. <coughs> Fuck you, Judas. Thought you could slit my throat in the night. Christ's sake, Tootless, get a grip. Oh, that's another day you ain't paid us. You have to uh, double the amount of smack you're bringing in for us. Typical, innit? Be friendly to them, help them out, and what do you get? Ripped off. You rip rummy off. Just give us a couple of days. Two. Two and I'm counting. Leave it with us, right? No worries. Mm. <clears throat> Try anything about my hunger strike in that paper. Yeah. You got your transfer? Thank fuck. Not up no fire. No. Scrubs. Scrubs. No. no. You can't send us there, Gov. Are you in danger there too? Everyone's in danger there. It's my turn to fry the fucking chips. Bollocks! It's your turn to chop the onions up and you know it! You can do half each. Look, you here. You are. Who's got the blade? Fuck's sake, it's the only blade that cuts! 
If you bastards didn't give me that blade, I'm gonna kick the living shit out of all of you. It was fucking you, pal. Listen, Braveheart, I need a tool. I've got eight men on me arse, but you can have it back on Wednesday because I'm getting transferred. Then you can chop the onions then, can't you? Lee. What? Toothless is out. He got a fucking transfer. Come on, it What's the matter? What's the matter? Scared of me, you mate, huh? Oh, you? You! I'm gonna drive the devil out of you! After I've been in a bargain! Miami sent you, didn't he? He did, as a matter of fact. Yeah? Well, I'm taking you with me. Let's go. I've waited long enough. Look. We're the negotiators, mate. The what? Just give us the key, will ya? Well, that's good negotiating, isn't it? If we fail, Miami's got a backup plan. Mickey. Mickey Farrell is Miami's hitman. <laughs> Bollocks! I've heard him raving away. His pages are falling out. No, it's all an act. It's standard, isn't it, lads? If he gets the rumble for doing you, he pleads insanity. We don't like this. Just give us the key, and we'll take care of Mickey. No. No, I ain't giving up without a fucking good fight. Now piss off! <laughs> I want two ounces of ash, a couple of grams of smack, right? Yeah, the only problem... There will be no problem. It's visiting day tomorrow, right? You get your birds to buy it from this address. Now, should the goods not come through, I will let Iron Bar kill you. All right? Uh, yeah. yeah no, I've, I've, I've spoke to me birds. She said uh, she's well up for it. She said she's going to sort you out. Make sure she does. All right? Meeting over. I ain't got a bird. Well, uh, worst comes to worst, I'll, I'll ask me old dear if she'll pick it up. Your mum? You fucking mad, mate? She might do it. Lee, get a grip on reality, will you? You're looking remarkably well for a man on hunger strike. Oh, thank you, Mr. Foley, sir. Read your name in the paper the other day. Oh, yeah? What paper was that then? Prison Gazette. Thing is, they got your name wrong. Said known to his fellow prisoners as Gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Prison fucking Gazette. I need more publicity than that. My course needs to be heard. It needs to be the topic of debate. I'll pin it on the notice board for you. What? I hear you ain't had much publicity for your calls, mate. What's it to you? Well, I think we can help you out. This had better be good. Hunger strikes never get that much publicity unless you die. No, mate, the way forward for you is a hostage situation. 
you threaten the lives of a few inmates and you'll have the whole of Fleet Street swarming around here like flies around shit, mate. Plus, you get the added bonus of all the exclusives from all the rags. Make a fucking fortune, mate. Yeah, but what's in it for you? We want to be the hostages. It's dodgy. We'll be all right. Brummy ain't going to bring iron buying on it. <laughs> well, that's something. Toothless just better be there. He never misses cookery. Yeah, well, just remember, make sure Brummy don't bottle out before Toothless has shut the key out, right? And oi, you. You've got to tell Tanya, right? Fucking fast acting laxatives. Nothing gentle. Oh, don't worry, mate. I've seen these things work. It'll turn his insides out. Be like dredging a canal. Sweet. We'll slip Moon the key and we'll be out of here for the weekend. Yeah, speaking of which, I'll give him a bell while I'm at it. Wait, wait. Now's the time, Brummy. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, let's go. We can hold up in the kitchen. Yeah, that'll be handy now I'm back on the grub, won't it? No iron bar. Okay. No, no, no. Just do it, do it. Special, you can go. What do you want me here for? We're taking hostages. You want to be one? I'm not leaving a gun on my fish, hooch. For you greedy bastards in Cock Doom. All right, you can stay, but we ain't letting you out. Right, he you stays. You fuckers ain't gonna do me. Ah! Ah! Uh, we could use one real hostage. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Here, Iron Bar, help us barricade the door, mate. Look at him, he loves it. Wouldn't be a siege without old oh, iron bar, would it? What's going on? Listen, Brummy's doing a protest. We've been taking hostages, so has Toothless. Right. Weren't there anywhere else you could have done this? Oh, sorry to drag you into our little domestic moon. I'm meant to be taking Tanya to see the ABBA musical. Right, time for an up. Playtime's over. We ain't coming out. We got hostages in here. Right attitude. That's you, Brummy? Yeah, two fucking right ears. Now get the governor down here or I'll start cutting people up. Come on, Brummy. Open up now. We're pretending it never happened. Nah, I ain't speaking to you. I'm talking to the governor and no fucker else. Nice work, mate. Right. Special break out the hooch, mate. No chance. Oh, come on. We'll sort you out good when it's over. That's my hooch. I'm not wasting it on the likes of you. Yeah, right. Hey, screws. We've got an hostage for you. I'm sticking with my brew. <laughs> Fucking rolling pin sharper on that knife. Just have to use more force. Okay. You can all have a couple of mouthfuls. And you'll owe me for it. I'm a fair man. Where's this hostage then? You took too long, we changed their mind. And you. So what's the plan then? We make the toothless ship the key out. Great. Tanya smuggled these in. Yeah. No hard feelings. Look. 
I need medical attention. Let me go first, eh? No. And if you're going to be miserable, we're going to cut you up first. Not bad. It tastes like stomach acid, mate. Nah, it's just a bit fruity. Cheers. <clears throat> I'll have another. <sighs> Rummy lad, this is Governor Mulvey. This is all very foolish. Nothing will come out of this but trouble. Now, if you think you've got a grievance, open up and we'll have a little chat. Just you and me, man to man. See if we can't work something out. Bollocks! <laughs> Wait, listen! Listen, you listen! I want conjugal rights for all the cons, right? And I want satellite TV and a sofa in my cell. I'm, I'm trying to be serious here, man. And a microwave, just for me, nobody yeah. else. Don't listen to Iron Boy, you're just negotiating with me, right? Rummy, that ain't fair. Yeah, and I want this protest on TV, otherwise I'm going to start hacking people to Look, death. I can get you onto the news, but conjugal rights, it's something that will have to go through the Home Office. Take months. Well, I ain't exactly going anywhere, am I? Well, I'll give you 24 hours to think it over. Have you seen how much food we've got in here? You can go fuck yourself. He's rat ass. Hey, listen. Go and make some soup or something. Go toothless. Fine. <laughs> Put a legs at me. Look, Brummy. Them lads is going to stitch you right up. They just want to do me just and pin it on you. Right, now I'm going to be flush when I get out of here. I mean, forget all this wife shagging bollocks. I'm going to be rich. Rich? I'm in here for life, you daft prat. They're fucking it, men! Good, I hope they get you. No, no, you, you've got to let me go. Whatever you want is yours. Why don't you shut up? Uh, How come I don't get any? Because it's the last what one. What about duvet? You can't believe it out, will you? Fuck you, brummy. <laughs> I ain't got no woman to come in and give us a shag. I want to get something out of this. Don't worry, pal. You'll get a good beating and a holiday during the block. You finished with her? Check in. Is he right? Mm. We gonna get nothing out of this? No, we'll get publicity. Publicity? Yeah, for our demands. Your demands? I don't want to do a month in sig for no publicity. I want to get some luxuries. I'm gonna dump my guts out. Oh. Get in the cupboard and do it in there and chuck it out the window. Oh, God! Get him up! God, get, him, get him in there. Get him in there. This is typhoid setting. Oh, God! Didn't you love me there, pal? Take you a while with one I can't hold on to the Loch Ness monster for long. Come on, pal. I got no way to go here. Oh, no. No, I ain't no way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the old plan, isn't it? It's a setback. Look, Brummy, why don't you let the chef go? It's a sign of good faith. Why? It's just to show him that you ain't mental. Fuck that. I am mental. Yeah. Just make us look weak, wouldn't it? I'm not weak. You know what? I think it's time we showed them we mean business. Nah, let's wait and see if we're on the news first. Chop someone's leg off and we'll be on the fucking news. We gotta be clever in that. I mean, like, a seed's right. It's like a game of chess, isn't it? Since when could you play chess? Well, drafts then, it's the same thing. They won't be expecting us to chop no one's leg off. Catch them on the off. No, no, no. Wait a minute, I mean... I thought we was in this together. It was our idea, wasn't it? You said you wanted to be hostages. Oh, yeah, I know, but... Do you want to be an hostage or not? Easy, boys, easy. We could make them draw straws. Yeah. yeah. I'll get the bread knife. Right. Come wait till after the news, eh, lads? Yeah, yeah, after yeah, the news, yeah. Be on in a while. Where's the telly, Brum? Oh, shit. I knew I was going to ask the governor for summer. You make it up as you go along, don't you? I'm fucking clever than you are. Hey, you'll be cool, Iron Bar, mate. Cool, calm, and collective. Bollocks! Ooh. I'm bored. There's no one out there listening to us anymore. <laughs>
and I'm gonna cut this geezer's peg off and see what happens. No, you're not. Listen to me. I don't need to do that anymore! You're full of shit! They shut him up, didn't they? He's not gonna make it. That's you fucked. That's fucking mother. That's right, Tackett. And you're next if you don't shut it. One wrong word out of you. Oh. And... What a pain in the ass. We're coming in. Oh. What are you doing now, man? I uh. I just dropped my sarnies. Yeah, well, evening. Evening, Gov. Uh, we've, um... What? What have you done? We found... what that key's for. A place called Rocket Rogers. Restaurant? No. Club? Yeah, sort of. A gym. Oh. Train boxers, do they? Nah. It's, uh... <laughs> no! Jimmy Silver for you. <sighs> Old Jimmy Silver, eh? Always taking a piss. Yeah. Let's have a laugh, didn't he? Yeah. It's the last laugh what counts, so, eh, Free Feet? Well said. Critical condition. They can't believe you made it for another night. That's terrible. It's a shame. It is. It's very bad news. That ain't the uh really bad news. You are. What else has happened? It's Barbie. She took it personal. She uh she thinks she was in on the hit. On Miami. Any sense? I was working for him. I know, him. I know, but she's made her mind up and she ain't dropping the charges. She, she's got to! I'm... Lee, Lee, I'm working on it, all right? And in the meantime, I'll come back and I'll visit you. When I get back from Tenerife. Sorry for the lads. 
It took me hours to get their sad faces out of my mind. But my holiday was a blinder. Really cheered me up. And when I got back, Lee's mum had sorted it all out. Well, she's an hairdresser, you see. So Barbie dropped the charges in return for a year's free rinse, set and root treatment. Miami? He weren't too pleased, I can tell you. Apart from looking like an Egyptian mummy for a month, his reputation had been damaged. And that was something that wouldn't heal. God help anyone who stepped on his burnt toes.